guys how are you doing today so i want to make sausage rolls and i want to teach you how to make them the way i like to make them actually there are two methods to making them and I'll go, i'm going to be showing you the two methods so i hope you enjoy this video as much as i enjoy making it and eating it of course i did <laughs> so if you want to learn how i make my sausage roll just stay with me and let's watch this video let's get started this is actually my first video on this channel this is I this is my baking and cooking channel. So I'm going to be doing a lot of baking and cooking on this channel. But you can also check out my lifestyle vlogs on my other channel. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. Please do well to subscribe to my video, like it, and please drop your comments. Your comments are very essential to me. I would so much appreciate your responses. Thank you so much. I love you. Hi hey guys, so now this is uh what we have on ground. So here I have my onions i just chop them in cubes i have my scotch bonnet your bass we call it at i have my seasonings here here i have a um, nutmeg i have curry and this is mixed spices i just love it i wanted to use ginger and garlic powder but i could not find it so i just had to buy mixed spices and then i have my bouillon cube here then i have my salt and then our hot dogs. I couldn't find uh, sausages, so I had to just improvise with this. I'm going to be teaching you two methods to doing this. You can do this in a method that you use each of these hot dogs to prepare the sausage roll. Or you can also do it in another method by mashing it up. I'm going to show you guys this. So I bought three of these. I think I got these three for how much did I even buy it? Uh, 1,005 something. So I have a glass of water. Then I have a pan here. And then we have the uh, kitchen blender here so i'm going to be getting right into it the first thing we are going to do is to cut our um hot dogs so we are going to have to slice this let me get a knife so i don't have a can opener but i'm just going to make do with what i have hey oh jesus <laughs> guys i guess I'm, i have to do this off camera see you later So guys, I'll be keeping these two because I want to use it for the other um, the other method I told you I'll be teaching you. I'll be using the remaining two for the other method. It's very easy. So I'm going to seal this, try to seal it back and just set it aside till I'm done. So we have this here now and I'm going to put in my... Uh, this is already seasoned, serious, as a matter of fact. It is seasoned already. It has... Um, water it is chicken and this is chicken sausage guys this is chicken is made with chicken so it is not pork i don't like pork so i prefer chicken so and it has um spices already it has a yeast extract it has flavoring it has spice extract it has a garlic powder it has garlic powder already onion powder smoke flavoring for you to have that smoky flavor water salt everything but the thing is i just like to be a little bit extra sweet you know me now i love to be extra sweet so i'll just add a little bit of seasoning that is why i have my seasonings here like i said earlier i have my mixed powder mixed spices here i have my bouillon cube i have my, a little bit of salt i have my nutmeg this nutmeg is seed nutmeg so i just need a little because it is very sharp and then my curry powder i don't need um thyme i mean my thyme i don't need my curry powder so i'm going to empty all of this inside this now starting with the bouillon cube i'm going to put it there so everything goes into it sorry i'm doing the back then i love it to be a little bit spicy so the scotch bonnet i'm just going to add it <laughs> i don't know this should be fine so then our onion so i'm just going to be putting it and then here comes our water just a little bit of water because we want this uh we want this to be kind of sticky we don't want it to be too watery so we are just going to be adding a little bit of water at a time as we blend so guys let's get blending Um, 
and this the remaining us dogs I, I mean the remaining sausages i told you i was going to teach you the second of the second method so we'll do that now so you are going to empty the uh out dog and its brine into a pot with its brine then you cover the pot So we will let it just boil for some minutes. So back here. So guys, this has come to a boil. So you just put up the light and let it sit. So I have with me here for the dough. Uh, this flour is one eight grams of flour. I want I intend to make plenty. So one eight grams of flour. And then I have extra flour for dusting. Then I have this margarine. I, I've already had of this juby margarine, but I'm not really sure about how it's going to be. Okay, well, I guess it's going to be fine. So, I'm going to be using uh, Juby. This is 500 grams. They are 250 grams each. I'm going to be using 500 grams of butter to 180 grams of flour. I have some sugar here. I don't really need much, but I just want it to sweeten the dough. And then I have my spices there. This is my baking powder. Just two, eat, uh, two tablespoons each. I have a little pinch of salt because the butter I'm using is already salted, but I still want a, bit of, a little bit of salt. And then I have my nutmeg not here. It's grated already. And I have my um, mixed spices here. Then, if you have cinnamon powder, you can put it. But I use nutmeg instead. If you have black pepper, you can put it, or a uh, grounded pepper, you can put it. I have my hex here. I need three hex. I'm going to be putting two into the mixture, and I'm going to be using one for my egg wash. And then here is our sausage that we um, blended yesterday. So I put it in the freezer overnight. So this is how it looks, guys. The sausage. So everything is okay. And then I have my cold water here with me. It's cold because we need cold water for the dough. So it will be cross. It will cross the way. It's a cross way and crunchy. I, I have my um, pastry brush here. My original pastry brush is not here, but I just have to make do with what I have at home. And then we have the foil paper here. And then a pair of scissors to cut my butter. I have my rolling pin and then uh, a knife. This rolling pin here eh, is improvisation, but either it's not worry. Just make sure you use the correct rolling pin. I have to improvise with this because this is what I have at home right now. So guys, let's get started. So I'm, so I'm going to be using my fork to... Mix together the, my baking powder and spices. Guys, I really wish I had hot pepper, black pepper in here, but I'm not the woman of pepper, so I try to eat it as less I can. So just pour it into this and we are done with that. And then a little bit of sugar, just a little bit like this is about a cup of sugar, but I don't want to use it finished, just a little, like maybe half. It doesn't have to be sweet, just a little bit. So I'm going to like try to get this together. So I'm going to be putting my butter out. I will cut my butter into it. So you start, you cut, you start um, putting your butter in bits in it. So it's easy for you to work with. And then, you know, this bowl is kind of small, but I'm just going to have to manage it that way. I can't find the other bowl, so you are going to work your dough, work your butter into the flour. So after this is um, mixed already, it looks like crumbs, as you can see, guys. I did not let the uh, butter to like melt finally inside. I love it that way; it makes it pop. I just love it that way. When you eat it, it makes it pop in your mouth. So I'm going to make a hole in the center, and then it is time for me to make my egg. Sorry about the noise. it is properly mixed then i pour it in the center of the dough once i do that i have my water here this is cold water i use cold water because cold water is the best for anything that looks that for mixing of pastries like meat pie fish uh, meat pie sausage or something like this cold water is the best so i only need a little water this is not too much just so the dough forms i don't want a runny dough I just want a dough that is kind of, I don't want it to be stiff, but 
just that um mixed just for it to be able to be mixed that is what i want so i'm going to try to work this into it Clear this place so as to be able to get a good workspace. So now I have a, I have an ample space to work with. I'm just going to sprinkle some flour, dust some flour on the table, and then take a portion of my dough and so that I'll be able to work it when I'm going to the table on my workspace rather. size I'm going to take out I'm going to scoop out of this uh, filling and then I'll make it a thin one make the line thin I mean make the filling thin and that should be really thin because it's still going to swell and I, I don't want it to swell it's good it's still going to swell
Yeah, so people call it Galatasy joke, but this is this is pretty much how like your gala is done. I'm going to be cutting this in two. So here you have it. This is your sausage roll. And you see it's so beautiful. You might decide to cut this off, but I don't want to cut this part off. This is how you make your sausage roll. Then you transfer it to your Isn't it so beautiful? It's so beautiful, guys, and it's just so beautiful. It looks yummy to me already. So, so I'm just going to be quickly doing this and trying to like finish the rest. Of it. I have my, I have my dough here. I want to show you the second procedure. This is my dough rolled out already. It's thin. I love it thin. It's rolled out already. You can use this um, with a bread dough. Or you can just use this one. So all you need to do is just take the uh, the sausage and then you put it in the middle and then you just roll and roll and roll and roll and you seal it with your egg wash. So and that is it. It is done, guys. In fact, I love this style. It's just that the reason. The most I, I feel like the reason most Nigerians or most people don't like this is because they don't like to eat this uh, sausage, this hot dog. They don't like to eat it like as a whole. So I prefer to mash up my a little bit and just add my own spices. So, so that's just let me do the other one. guys here we are it was it took us some time but then we are we are done with it so i'm going to put this I, my oven is already preheating for like two minutes now so i'm going to be putting all this into the oven and baking them for just 25 minutes that's just what we want we don't want it to bake too hard just 25 minutes 20 25 minutes please well it depends on your oven but 20 25 minutes maximum 30 minutes in fact 30 minutes is too much so I'll put it into the oven. So guys, this is the second batch. I brought out the first batch too. So this is the first second batch now. Just really nice. So I have the uh, one of the ones that I made round. This is it. Let me show you. It's very hot. So that's it. So yummy. That this is the second one I told you about. And this one too is really nice. Just like this is just so so nice. Like, so beautiful. Right? So, mm. 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 